Welcome to this Internet Geography Revision Short covering Hard Engineering Coastal Management. Hard Engineering Coastal Management involves building artificial structures which try to control natural processes. Seawalls are usually built along the front of cliffs to protect settlements or other lands of high economic importance. They are often recurved, which means waves are reflected back on themselves. This can cause the erosion of material at the base of the seawall. There are a number of advantages to constructing seawalls to protect the coastline. They usually a very successful direct barrier to sea. Social advantages of seawalls include the sense of safety and security they provide to locals, and they often have a promenade on top of them, which are popular with tourists. An economic advantage of seawalls is that they tend to have a long lifespan and provide excellent defence where wave energy is large. An environmental advantage of seawalls is that they do not restrict the movement of sediment along the coast by longshore drift. However, there are also several disadvantages associated with constructing seawalls. A social disadvantage is that a seawall can restrict access to the beach. Additionally, coastal flooding can occur when waves overtop the seawall. A major economic impact of seawalls is that they are very expensive to construct and maintain. Additionally, reflected waves scour the beach and cause foundations to be undermined, increasing maintenance costs. Finally, there are a series of environmental impacts associated with seawalls. Recurved seawalls can increase the erosion of beach material. They don't look attractive and destroy cliff habitats. Also, they reduce the input of sediments to the coastal system as cliffs are protected. Rock armour is a barrier made up of large boulders placed in front of a cliff or seawall to absorb wave energy. There are a range of advantages in using rock armour to manage coastal erosion. One social benefit of rock armour is that access along the beach is not restricted when it is situated in front of a cliff or seawall. An economic advantage of using rock armour is its cost. It is much cheaper than constructing a seawall Additionally, it can be built in weeks rather than months, reducing the economic impact of its installation. It is versatile because it can be placed in front of a sea wall, extending its lifespan. It can also be used to stabilize slopes on dunes. An environmental benefit of using rock armor is that it does not impede sediment movement along the coast by longshore drift. There are several disadvantages to using rock armor to manage coastal erosion. One social disadvantage is that access to the beach can be restricted by the placement of rock armour along the base of cliffs. Costs increase when rock needs to be imported. This is an economic disadvantage. In terms of environmental impact, rock armour looks unattractive. Additionally, rock often needs to be quarried, which has a significant environmental impact. Gabions are wire meshed cages filled with pebbles or rocks. They are placed at the back of sandy beaches. As water enters the cages, wave energy is absorbed and dissipated. A social advantage of gabions is that they do not restrict access to people walking along a beach. Gabions are cheap and easy to construct and can last 20 to 25 years. Additionally, gabions do not restrict sediments from moving along the coast. One social disadvantage is that gabions can restrict access to a beach. Additionally, in a damaged state, gabions are very dangerous. Gabions are restricted to sandy beaches as material thrown at them on shingle beaches would quickly degrade them. And finally, damaged gabions are unsightly and dangerous to seabirds. Groins are wooden barriers constructed at right angles to the beach to retain the material. The beach material, including sand and pebbles, are trapped between groins and cannot be transported away by longshore drift. Groins encourage a wide beach, which helps absorb energy from waves, reducing the rate of cliff erosion. There are a number of benefits to using groins for coastal management. Groins do not restrict access to the beach, they are also used as windbreaks by tourists, both of which are social benefits. An economic advantage of using groins is that they are relatively cheap and, if well-maintained, can last 40 years. 
Material trapped between groins builds up a wide sandy beach that attracts tourists, bringing benefits to the local economy. There are a range of disadvantages of using groins to manage coastal erosion. Beaches downdrift to the defences are starved of beach material due to their impact on longshore drift. This leads to increased erosion, which has an economic impact further along the coast. Additionally, groins need regular maintenance. A social disadvantage of groins is that they form a barrier which impedes people walking along the beach. Also, the beach on the downdrift side of the groin can be much lower than the updrift side. This can make them very dangerous, particularly for young children. An environmental disadvantage of groins is that they do not look attractive and they disrupt natural coastal processes. You can find out more about hard engineering coastal management on internetgeography.net. Please check out the comments to links for more information and quizzes on internet geography. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates.